All right, I'm out at a beach because it's actually nice weather here in Canada in the month of September. And the reason I'm out here is because I'm taking advantage of some flying weather. I'm gonna answer the question that a lot of you have on your mind, at least those of you who keep asking me this question. It's the year 2019. The Autel Evo came out on June of the year 2018. And people are wondering, is it still relevant in 2019? Like, is this a drone you should even consider buying? Well, I'm gonna take a look at that in this episode. So here we go. So I've got the Autel Evo over here in my little case. And you're probably noticing this video looks like a soap opera because I'm recording at 60 frames per second vice the normal 30 frames per second. So everything is super, super smooth. And that's because the Autel Evo is one of the few drones that has a sensor on it that can record at 60 frames per second in 4K. So that's why this is in 4K at 60, because when I fly the Evo, it's in 4K 60. It's my little Autel Evo case, and I've got everything I need in here. Let me just grab the Evo and answer the question everybody wants to know. So the question everybody wants to know is, this year Autel Evo is still relevant in the year 2019? I'm going to say yes, because of three things. One is it's one of the few drones on the market that has a controller with an integrated display and that is like a lifesaver in a lot of situations. Second, it's also one of the few drones on the market right now with a camera that does 60 frames per second in 4K. And the third really important issue with this here drone is uh, if I had to sum it up in one word, the Autel Evo is a reliable drone. It's never let me down so far. So uh, yeah, it's still relevant to 2019. Let's take a closer look. Now, one of the great things that Autel has is smart batteries that you can see how much power is remaining and they do discharge, they self-discharge, which is good. Not every company has that. The controller, as I mentioned, has its own display right here. It's not a big display, but you can fly it without a cell phone and everything seems to work quite well and it's got good range. The only odd thing with this controller would be on the back. These buttons over here, A and B, those ones there, they are easy to touch with your hands and I constantly hit them. That's the only thing I don't like with the controller. Now I'm just gonna show you how bright the controller is. So say I didn't have a cell phone with me and I wanted to go flying. I've got my foot over here. I've got my Evo here. So I'm gonna put the camera down there and uh, bring the controller over here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I'll power it on. And it's going to come to life and we should see some colors on the screen. I can't really see what's being recorded, but I'm just going to assume I've got it in the, uh, the image. So power up and then I'm going to put it into display mode as if I didn't have my cell phone and I was just going to use this screen to fly. So it's ready to fly. So there's a button on the, I think it's this right over here on the side. It says DISP. I hit that and I should see, there we go. So now I'm seeing what my Autel Evo sees. So can you see that? Hopefully you can see that really well and uh, it's quite bright out here and you can still see that display you know before the autel evo came out i i was one of those guys saying that's never going to be bright enough for a pilot but uh, yeah it's bright enough for me there we go all right let's set this up really quick i'll tell you a little bit about the autel evo now when this came out everybody was pretty excited and uh, they really wanted a model that Autel showed with a one inch sensor. Well, I hate to tell you guys, I don't think the one inch sensor for the Autel Evo is ever coming, but I think since Autel is a pretty small company and they only sell this in the US, I think since they're a small company and they're a little slow at manufacturing new items, I think what you're gonna see is an Autel Evo Mini, maybe in the year 2020, you know, a smaller version, less costly, but it'll be an Autel Evo with, you know, I guess a few enhancements. One thing I was kind of concerned about when I first got the Evo was the gimbal. Look at it, it just bounces all over. It makes that terrible noise like it's gonna fall apart. But uh, I've had it out in the cold, in the summer heat, bounced it around all sorts of ways. No, it's pretty solid. It doesn't uh, get damaged in any way. Put a new battery in. There we are. The flight time on the Evo is pretty good as well. I think it's, uh, I'm usually getting about 25 minutes of flight time with this here, baby. Power this on and power my controller on. So I guess the big question on making a drone relevant is, Autel, you've had a year to make this drone, you know, enhance it, make it better, uh, update the software, make accessories. So let's start off with that. Accessories, I do have the charging hub, which allows you to charge four of these batteries. Um, not at once, but you put them on and charges one, then the next, then the next. There's also a live receiver transmitter so that you can receive the signal from your Autel Evo and you can send it out on social media or send it to HDMI. Now, one of the good things I will say about the Autel Evo is they don't seem to be affected by the price tariff that's happening in the US and uh, the prices have stayed the same. Which brings me to another point. Usually a drone that is a year old and hasn't 
change too much, the competition will usually cause the price to go down. But the Autel Evo uh, hasn't gone down in price. It's still pretty much the same price for what you get. Although around uh, Black Friday, the prices are outstanding for the Autel Evo. So if you're thinking of buying one and you want to wait until Black Friday, you're going to get a great deal. Now, when the Evo first came out, it had a problem with the gimbal. Remember that gimbal? It couldn't get horizon correctly. The horizon was always tilted like sideways. But uh, Autel's fixed that and it works perfect. And yes, we can't avoid the elephant in the room. Yes, it is a copy of the Mavic Pro. This here Autel Evo is a copy of the Mavic Pro. No matter if you're an Autel Evo fan, you want to deny it. Nope, that's a Mavic Pro. So Autel basically looked at the Mavic Pro, saw that it's making a lot of money and that was the future and they made the Autel Evo. What they did right is they uh, made it with a better camera than the original Mavic Pro and the Mavic Platinum. Uh, so if you have the Autel Evo, you have a much better camera drone, that's for sure. At least in my opinion, that's what I believe from the tests I've done. Low light and everything, it's really good. Now, one other thing that I have to mention about the good old Autel Evo over here is that, well, it's only sold in the States. And that's because Autel, you know, it's a, what is it, a subsidiary? It's, it's part of a, a Chinese company. They have a U.S. Uh, storefront. Maybe that's why they're not charged tariffs and they don't have to change the prices. Anyways, I don't know. But... They're pretty small, so they're only selling in the U.S. And uh, that's basically where you order from and that's where you get your support from. You would have thought with the popularity of the Autel Evo that over the course of a year they would have expanded, but they're not investing a lot of money into that division. Look at how many people that you always see in a video from Autel. They're the same dudes all the time. And if you phone Autel, they're the same dudes. It's like this really tiny group of uh, pub crawlers that uh, work at Autel. So don't expect quick products from Autel. If you're expecting something new to be happening all the time, it takes a while because, you know, they have to propose something, get it approved in China, get the money, the funding, do a budget plan, a business plan, everything, and uh, yeah, go from there. So it takes a little bit longer at Autel. So I think the Autel Evo, my personal opinion, I think it'll be around for at least two years and it'll still be relevant for two years. So you got another, you got another year of relevancy with this here drone before, you know, then it starts to get a little old and a little weak around the edges. But for now, it's it's a pretty decent drone and, and I do like flying it, which I'm going to do in the next two seconds. I'm going to stop talking. Okay, I'm still talking, but take a look at my display. Here's one thing I find with the Autel Explorer software. It's pretty good. They do update it. They do firmware updates, but you see this? I get a firmware update detected, even though I've already upgraded to that uh, firmware, I still get this little detection thing at the bottom that pops up every now and then. I've already done the upgrade. And if I click on it, it will just upgrade it all over again. So it's already been done. But more importantly than that, take a look at my screen again. You notice you have two items. You have one that says camera, one that says mission. So if I go into camera, that's your camera mode with all your settings along the bottom. You notice I have the 60 frames per second, 4K set already at the bottom. Now, if I click up at the top where it says standby on the top left, this is basically what the Evo came with a year ago. They had camera, which I was just in, dynamic track, which is similar to DJI's active track, but not as good, but it's still okay. Then they have viewpoint, which is, you know, basically like tap to fly. Uh, they've got orbit mode, which goes around, which some people still have a problem with that. You have waypoints, which is uh, pretty decent. You fly the waypoints and everything else. And you have VR mode where you stick a box on your face and you put your cell phone in the box and you can watch everything. But they've also got a few other cool things. This new one called Mission, which I looked at it just quickly. It's pretty sweet because check this out. So it shows me create new mission, rectangle route. So I'm just going to click on that and watch what happens. Here I am at the beach. I'm just moving the map around. And if I wanted to make a rectangular route, I should be able to put that on uh, here. Draw it. There we go. So I put this little square. I can make it bigger or smaller. I can have the drone. See this little button at the bottom? I can have the drone fly that path. It's just doing this rectangular back and forth. It's going to map the whole area if I want it. And you see it's got an S for start and it's got an E for end. So it would fly there. And if you look over at my right, I could adjust the height, the speed, the course. So that's a pretty cool thing that they've added for this. The Paradinafi has something similar, but uh, it's nice that Autel added this. All right, guys, enough of my talking. Uh, everything looks good. Let's uh, start this up and uh, take it up and do some filming. This will be 4K, 60 frames per second. Enjoy.
All right, people of the world, I'm being filmed right now on the Autel Evo in 4K60. So once again, 2019, if you're buying the Autel Evo, it is still relevant. It's still a good buy. I think the price should be a little bit lower since, you know, it is a year later, but still wait until Black Friday and get yourself a great sale. Or if you know of a great sale right now, then uh, pick one up. All right, I'll put links below anyways, just in case I find some great sales and uh, you can check it out below. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and we'll catch you in the next one.